Hi, I'm Steve Barrett, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of PR Week and I'm doing the latest in our series of preview videos for our conference which takes place in New York City on September 17th. It's called the Peso Principles. It's all about content and how brands are using it um, to supercharge their marketing and communications activity. Today I'm delighted to be with Sarah Amos who is Chief Creative Officer at Freshwire. Sarah, hi. hi. Um, you are heading up the session um, Omnicom Fleshman Hillard session, which is all about taking command of your social media control centre. Um, tell us what that's about, what, we, what we're going to see from that session, because that sounds interesting. Everyone's getting social media control centres, but how do you actually then really make the best of them and make them work? What part of your brands? Yeah, you know, first we're just going to start by really breaking down what a social media control center is. Uh, for a lot of people, a command center could be 20 guys in a room, high-tech technology, something similar to a Fleischmann Hiller black box system. For another company, it might just be three or four people who are really focused on community management and really uh, representing the brand well within a social pages. So a command center is less about the, the framework and more about the analytics, the data, and really paying attention to what your audience is telling you on social media. The, the key though is that just paying attention to the data is only the first step. You then have to do something with it. There's a lot of companies who spend millions of dollars monitoring social media, but if you aren't turning it into relevant content, if you aren't using the data to drive a narrative, then there's no real point to it. So you pretty much have to be on 24-7 with that for some brands, so I would imagine. Definitely. You know, react pretty quickly. Yeah, and I think it all goes back to, to kind of the, the jargon of the moment, brand newsroom. In order to power a brand newsroom, in order to have a continuous conversation with your audience, you need something driving that. You need to be looking at how your audience is reacting to the content you're putting out. You need to be looking for new ideas from your audience so that you can spur a deeper level of conversation. Is this uh, an example of someone who you think is doing a really good job of this um, and, and how are they you know, maximizing that? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people who are really kind of uh, digging deep. If you look at AT&T, for instance, who uh, you know, we've done some work with and others uh, within kind of the Omnicom Fleshman world have, they're really reacting to what their audience is telling them. And that goes beyond just uh, consumer complaints or uh, the latest kind of information. They're trying to create a conversation about what their audience cares about. So that might be uh, entertainment news through their AT&T U-verse, or that might be small business information that can really help drive home uh, AT&T's mobile messaging. But the key is that they're listening and then they're reacting. Because, you know, I, I think in this day and age, there's so much content out there. And it's so hard to make sure your content rises above. And the only way to do that is to make sure you're relevant at the exact moment that your audience is looking for you. Because if you're even 10, 15 minutes late, you might miss that window of opportunity. And what we're seeing here is a new generation of PR pros, really. People like yourself who've come from uh, TV, uh, ABC, where you, you were a producer. Uh, the type of talents that are coming into our profession is changing, isn't it? Oh yeah, I, I really think in the next kind of couple of years you're going to see a a wide migration of journalists into the, the branded content, marketing, and PR space. I mean, just this week, uh, a big CNN executive uh, joined Sparks and Honey, another kind of content branding engine. And I think that the reason is, is that people from the news business, we know how to drive a daily narrative. We know how to pay attention to the world around us and listen to our audience in order to continually pump out new stories. And I think, you know, Social media empowered the world to become their own publishers, but funnily enough, brands were a bit later to that game than individuals were. And I think brands are now catching up and they're realizing that everyone can empower their own newsroom. And in order to do that though, you need to bring on the right staff and you need to be paying attention to the right data points. Okay, well last question. Um, what do you hope people will take away from this session at the conference on, on September the 17th? in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Lower third on the screen. Um, no, I think that we really want to give people some tools. You know, this is a very new space. This is a, a scary space to some companies and to some agencies. It's very uncharted territory. And we really want to make sure that we're giving you a couple of examples, the rights, the wrongs, 
uh, things that have, have really kind of cut through the clutter and made a difference in campaigns and in long-term uh, marketing techniques. So, you know, I think it's easy to get confused and it's easy to just kind of start hearing it all as white noise. We want to bring a little clarity to how you can use social media, the data behind it, uh, to, to create really brilliant content that will excite an audience. Great, I'm really looking forward to this session. So uh, I hope as many people as possible come along, sign up and come on. Thank you, Sarah. And bring your questions, yeah, uh, it'll be a absolutely. fun day. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, well, we'll see you on the 17th. Definitely. Great.